Hey, this is Nultzer, and this is Untitled. This week, I want to talk about Wargaming. The stream and emoticons. They are coming. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then finally, whatever. I don't, I don't know at this point. So, Wargaming. Why talk about Wargaming? Because they did a great job in updating the requirements for the European Arpeggio Takao requirements. It was Tier 9 and 10, 50 battles. It is now tier 8, 9, and 10, 50 battles, and that is a world of difference. I can get behind that. I appreciate that they listened. I don't care why they listened. I don't care that it was that in the first place. I don't care, and neither should you. It's done. It's over. It's in the past. It's not coming back. We can't travel through time and discuss this in detail before it's out, because they've already fixed it. Just be thankful that they listened, and I am. Because I, I felt like 9 was just a little too high. Tier 8, very reasonable. Premium. Time. It all makes sense. But Tier 9 and 10, it was just too high. Just way too high. And I'm glad they fixed it. For me, personally, with my progress, I am at the, the final stage. And I'm working on, what, 40,000 base XP? That's what I have to earn. That'll probably take me... Yeah, another stream, maybe two streams. I don't really have time to play the game outside of the stream itself. I'm busy doing stuff. Sometimes I can collect a game or two games and try and add that into the rotation or record a replay from a friend or a, uh, a viewer. You're all my friends, of course. And along those same lines, I have not played a lot of the new Japanese destroyers. I do have access to them. I obviously can't share anything, but I expect that the public test server will have at some point in the near future the patch, and we know that the patch is probably going to have the Japanese destroyers, I would I would hope, just because they're not really played as much as they should be, in my opinion. There's not a lot of destroyers, in my opinion. I think destroyers should be the top dog, of course, because I love the gameplay, but you shouldn't only have one destroyer per battle. Sometimes it's, it's really, really bad. I'm interested to see how this shakes up the Destroyer gameplay. And I can't wait for the Germans. The Germans are probably not this year, next year, I think. And it'll be nice. I wonder what the German... You know, I have theories, obviously, but I don't know that for a fact. But I'm very excited for the future. I'm having fun. The stream is really fun for me. I will talk about anything. I don't stop talking about anything. Now, I try and transition to other things through conversation. Like, I think I was talking about... I was talking about government, the Federation government in Star Trek, and we transitioned over to supervillains in Marvel and DC, and then I talked about Star Wars... And how much I love A New Hope. I just I just love it. But if you don't like nerd stuff or history, I, I like to talk about history. And there's some controversy there too, which is hilarious to me. But, you know, it's whatever. That's what I like. That's what I'm going to talk about. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. That's what I like. I don't get a lot of ways to discuss this. Not a lot of people enjoy history. Not a lot of people talk, like talking about presidential, 1940 president, you know, what this particular deal that they made, or 1860 president, was he a good president, was he a bad president, do you think the Civil War, you know, all this stuff. I like that stuff. That is fun for me. I don't care about an actor or an actress. I don't care. That's not interesting to me. I'm sorry. That's just the nature of what I like. So yeah, yeah. My stream is, we're playing the game. We'll talk about what I'm trying to do in the game. We'll react, of course. And stories. I like historical stories and fictitious stories, pretty much. And along the stream line, that was an interesting way of saying it, we are actively working on emoticons. More emoticons for you to spam and celebrate in-game events. Kill securing. Running into islands. 
Someone being a real jerk. The stern of the ship. The a-hole. And a whole bunch of other things that I want to actively be a part of the streaming experience. You should have as much fun interacting in the chat as I do playing the game and talking to you. And please do not hold back a question. Just, just go ahead and ask it. You have to have my name in the questionnaire, of course. You don't have to put an at sign in front of it. It'll recognize just not, sir. Now you have to spell it right. That is an issue for some people, and that's okay. But I try to answer every question that's asked of me. I try to play a variety of ships that is requested of me. That is my goal. And I enjoy it immensely because I get to talk to people three times a week for six, seven hours about video games, nerd stuff, animals, whatever. So I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I hope it, I hope the quality, oh, by the way, okay. So about two streams ago, I bumped up the resolution to 1080p. I was 900p, I went 1080p 60. I'm obviously very close to the threshold that they will allow me to stream at, but I think it looks better. The problem with wargaming products in particular is the font size is just a hair small. So when you try and use a low resolution, good luck trying to read that. I'm trying to stream at the exact same resolution that I'm playing at. And it seems to work better at 1080p 60 versus 900p 60. And hopefully that's more enjoyable for you. If you checked out my stream and it was a little too blurry for you, maybe you should check it out again. I really do try to put out the best product possible. I enjoy everyone checking out YouTube, checking out whatever. Hopefully you've enjoyed the last couple YouTube videos that I've made. I've tried to keep it relevant on topic to either the British cruisers, some sort of destroyer or cruiser changes. We'll talk about the Japanese destroyers when we can. I need to run through more of the British cruisers. I am almost up to the Fiji on my own, but I, of course, can play it on my press account and play them all. And that seems to be going quite well. The Perth, of course, came out and it was it's okay. It's not crazy, it's not poor, it's just there. If you're really into Australian history, absolutely. If you're someone who likes the British cruiser design a lot, sure. But you're not gonna be able to use your Commonwealth commander in your British cruisers, and I think that's a big deal. You're buying a ship that basically you cannot retrain commanders in. You lose your value. But that's okay, that's okay. Whatever makes you happy. All I want to do is inform you of the playstyle, show you exactly how she works. You decide whether it's worthy of your interest or money. So what else have I been up to? Well, I'm currently watching Next Generation again, Star Trek. I was a child, as it was relevant. It sort of, I didn't understand anything about it. I just knew that it was spaceships. And yeah, that was the extent of my knowledge in real time when it was going on. And I've been having a lot of fun rewatching the Borg. It's just so fascinating. And I just, I like that sort of thing. I don't like new content. I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't like watching something that requires that I put a lot of effort into it because I find television and movies and music to be boring compared to video games and using my PC and doing stuff like that, making videos, that sort of thing. I, I just, I just, I just don't like it. I find that uh, basic television is terrible, of course. I mean, I think we've known that for a long time. And a lot of these online database, unique, you know, HBO, Netflix, they're great, but I don't have time to get invested in that stuff. I don't like waiting 
so I can't finish it all in one go. I kind of avoided Breaking Bad until it was basically done. I don't watch Walking Dead. I watched a little bit of it, but I just I just don't like watching stuff in the moment. I don't like cliffhangers, having to wait a whole week to get it resolved. I don't want to be manipulated like that. I would prefer to just watch it on my own, and that be it. Am I weird? Is that the right way to treat it? I don't know, <laughs> but that's that's me. And I usually watch it while I'm rendering, if you must know what I do. And I enjoy it. I like it. That's me. So I think I'm I think I'm getting better at playing World of Warships. <laughs> I was uh, streaming, and whenever I would stream, people would show interest in joining me, which is completely fine. The problem is, is that you get into a game and six to ten people. Are playing it because you are streaming. That kind of in impacts the way the game feels. There's always someone who's watching actively using that information. I'll bet, you know, 30 seconds in the past to their advantage or they just want to be a part of the stream. I find it just, it just detracts from the quality of the product. The games are not as fun, they're not as close. It would seem that I can't dominate a game as easily. So what I did today is I basically hid who I was queuing up as. And it worked out great. I think we had five or six exceptional games. I'm talking three, four, five, six kill games. It was great. And I'm going to be doing that as my standard procedure going forward. I will, of course, make an overlay dedicated to it. Hey, I'm choosing a ship. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just choosing a ship real quick. Because it, it seems like the games were way better. Maybe I'm just trying to confirm my bias. I, I just think the games were awful. The stream prior. So, Sunday I did this. Friday, I don't believe I did this. I, I, it just showed there was nothing worth keeping after I went and reviewed all those games. It was just garbage games. Either the teams were so imbalanced or, you know. It was over. It was over before it began. I don't think it's stream sniping. I just think people are queuing up for the wrong reasons. They are not queuing up to win the battle. They are queuing up to be a part of the stream. They're not making the correct play. They are making the more exciting play in their mind. Ooh, I could be on stream. Look, look, I'm on stream for three seconds. I appreciate that. I know you want to be a part of it. But when you do that, you sort of ruin the experience for everyone else. Because you're not the only one who's thinking like that. There's someone else thinking exactly like that. And if you do that, and there's enough people, then there's going to be a weird play style that develops that people aren't going to be pushing forward. They're going to be looking to me to see what I'm doing, to try and mimic and support my role instead of making the precise play that needs to be made for their team. So that's why I feel like I need to do this. I don't want people queuing up just so they can be a part of something. I want them to queue up because they want to play that ship at that tier in that moment. And that's what it felt like. It felt like more people were interested in participating in the game. It was a little bit higher quality game. I know some of you think I'm crazy. Nobody, absolutely nobody, has ever tried to kill you in-game because they recognized you. You are so ignorant, Notzer, if you think there's a single person on this planet that would ever do that. I know, I know, you can type it out, but that doesn't make it right. Of course there's people who get into matches and they want to participate in a person's experience if they recognize them. That's just normal. It's like going to meet your friend. I'm not going to ignore my friend at the bar. I'm going to try and incorporate him into my experience. That's all. They're not cheating. They have no ill will in their heart. They're just changing the way they play the match out because they recognize someone. And I would just like a little bit less of it in the stream because I want you to see 
great games. And hopefully that's what we delivered on Sunday. I I had a great time. Some of those games were absolutely crazy, and they will find themselves on the YouTube channel. So, that's pretty much Untitled. I will, of course, be working on the emotes, continue to work on videos that are new and interesting changes that have occurred in World of Warships. I really enjoy it. I'm having fun. I love the comments. I love the support. Thank you very much. Uh, what else? I might put out a video testing the waters, discussing a certain matchup that works well in a game called Overwatch. It'll be bonus content. It will not take away. I don't even know if I'll do it, if I have time, but I do like that, uh, just like World of Warships, destroyers are good at killing battleships, obviously. They're weaker against cruisers. I like that sort of rock, paper, scissors. It's not completely hard as rock, paper, or scissors, but having a class that is just better in a 1v1 is intriguing to me, and Overwatch has a lot of that, where one particular class, one particular character, is just straight up better against this other character. And it's not completely obvious to people who aren't familiar with every single character and every single scenario that occurs. So it, it makes complete sense to try and do this. So we, we you might see that. I, I don't know. I don't know. This Grosakua first game, it's fairly old, but I, I wanted to share it in the background. It was interesting. It was a lot of damage, and I liked it a lot. So, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.